let's begin working on this beautiful pendant. Um, this is a slab of 0.6 centimeters in thickness. Just breaking off um, some of the air bubbles and then I smoothen this and cut this into a large rectangular shape. I smoothen this using my fettling knife. Now I didn't have a cookie cutter that is this big, that is why I'm using a paper cutout. So this is um, currently seven and a half by five centimeters. I cut the shape out using an exacto knife. Smoothen this. I do use a little bit of oil um, for the edges. The nichrome wire U pins used here are gauge 24. This is for the earrings. The slab thickness is 0.3 centimeters. I smoothen this using my fettling knife. Using a rectangular shaped cookie cutter, I cut out a pair. I smoothen this as well. And I use a gauge 26 nichrome wire U pin. So if you see the set is ready, I intend to assemble this using these beads. I will link this, uh, how I made these beads in the description box of the video. We let this dry, uh, this will take a couple of days. I'll probably slow dry it so that it doesn't warp. Once the set dries, it's fired in an electric kiln. And now that you see everything is fired, I've laid out everything that is needed. I'm also going to be using four small terracotta beads uh, for assembling this. The colors are milky white and burnt umber. I'm going to be just using a liner brush and a broad bristle brush. Uh, this is an eight uh, that I'm going to be using for the uh, pendant. That's obviously the earrings. I have already drawn out um, this brief story or scene, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is this is a freehand drawing. Uh, I'm not using any scale, nothing of that sort. And like I said, I'm going to be using these two beads to assemble this set. I start off with a base coat of brown, rather a beautiful chocolate brown. Now, I did mix a little bit of the chocolate brown along with the um, white. We start off with a beautiful wavy frame. A sunny, bright morning, lush greenery, a big, gorgeous tree in sight. Such a well-groomed tree with branches spread out, lending shade to a large portion of the village. A tree that's almost a landmark for the whole village. Simple yet beautiful houses that people live in and make it their home with the love they share. People getting on with their daily chores, bustling with energy. A short distance away, a field filled with crop of the season. Men and women working hard, looking forward for a fruitful harvest. Men carrying hay, neighbors borrowing firewood. Women going about their friendly banter while pounding some rice, turning them into fine flour. The sound of a cheerful man selling fresh homemade butter. Little kids playing cheerfully with lots of energy and excitement, probably only to go home when their mothers call them for a meal. A sunny, bright, beautiful day indeed, replicating just a smaller tree version on the earrings, a simple painting for the beads,
Now that you see everything is dried, it's time to warnish. This is the product I use. Give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or a container. And using a broad bristle soft brush, you can begin painting. If you see, I've already painted the beads, rather warnish the beads. I've laid out everything um, that is required, gear wire, crimp beads, crimp cover, jump ring, earring hooks, These are lava beads. I have made this uh, pre-made, I had already made this dory with the uh, tassels, my set of pliers. This is the manner in which I intend to assemble. Now there are obviously if you've been following my videos for a while, there have been detailed videos on how, rather slower uh, videos on how I've actually put sets like this together. So uh, you can always go and uh, check them out or I can also leave a couple of videos in the description box. So this is how I assemble the entire piece and if you see this beautiful rustic yet a very detailed piece is ready. I really hope you all enjoyed uh, watching this and hearing this. <laughs> So do let me know what you think of the video in the comment section and as always I'll get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching. Bye.